Donald Trump claims to possess nearly $500 million required to cover the bond in his New York civil fraud case. However, whether he will meet the Monday deadline remains uncertain. Chris Wells from Fox News provides Trump's latest statements and potential consequences if he fails to pay. There's a significant distinction between having $500 million in cash and being able to readily allocate it for the bond. Trump's assertion of possessing the cash doesn't guarantee its immediate availability to meet the bond requirements. Trump's company, Truth Social, is on the verge of going public post a merger deal, estimated to value his shares at $3 billion. Nevertheless, accessing these funds might not be straightforward either. Trump's attorneys previously claimed the impracticality of securing funds for the bond. While Trump's recent assertion suggests liquidity, the practicality of allocating it entirely to satisfy the bond is questionable. Failure to pay by Monday could result in Attorney General Leticia James seizing Trump's property, with paperwork already filed for seizing his golf course and estate at Seven Springs. Trump's social media post coincided with news of Truth Social's imminent public listing. Trump's significant stake in the company could potentially value his shares at $3 billion. However, due to lockup restrictions in the deal, accessing these funds before six months would be challenging. Lockup terms limit the transfer or disposal of shares, except in limited circumstances. Despite the anticipation surrounding Truth Social's IPO, it has reportedly lost 39% of its active users year over year. Some experts suggest the market is overvaluing the stock, labeling its current price as a bubble. Trump's ability to navigate these financial complexities amidst legal battles remains to be seen.